Hey for everybody but the sidewalk is so Guz drops a blog the other day speaking on Tay Rock sending shots at Tay Rock I'm online and I'm seeing things oh my god he is sending shots at Tay Rock but the reason why I'm, I'm speaking right now I got the video I'm about to show you the video right now but the reason why I'm speaking now is because he's going to say he's not sending shots at Tay Rock and we don't condone and none of that poo poo play over here all that foo foo boo boo shit we ain't with it man Good, stop moving like a bit. You feel me? Stop moving bit, my yo. And now with them things there, my yo. Shot out your target. Ching, my yo. Do them things there. But listen, good send shots at Tay Rock. He's talking about how Tay Rock is starting to act brand new because um, he said, it's basically saying like, oh, he fucked up battle rap because he's the one who put that, oh, don't speak on my daughter out there. And since then, everybody is going crazy talking about don't speak on my kids, don't speak on my kids when... That's not really their stance in life, like how they felt about it. They're not genuinely doing it. They're doing it to be like, oh, I'm tough. I'm a gangster. When in reality, that's not how they really feel. They just, they don't care how, what nobody say at the end of the day, but they just acting tough for the camera. And Guz asked the question, is he wrong for feeling that way about his daughter being brought up in the battles? Now, I'm going to answer that question to Guz. This is to Guz, y'all. Y'all tell me if I'm wrong, hit the comments or not. Guz, for and one, he said this is his job. He he don't feel like anybody should be able to say what they want to say to him, right? Now, this since this is your job, right? We yeah, this is your job. We, you said this before, yeah. I think I'm the dude that was talking about like how this is how your job, yeah. But you get paid for a service, and your service is to have another rapper rap in front of you disrespectfully. So he's sitting there talking about your mom, the person that brought you into this world, your grandmother, the person that brought her to even bring you to be able to, to bring your daughter in this world. And it's a problem when he speaks on your daughter. Like, let's really be serious right here. Like, let's really think about this right here. He speaks on, so they could rap on dead friends, they could rap on dead relatives, but they just can't speak on your daughter. Like, do you see any sense in that? Do you see any sense in that? Any sense? I mean, am I wrong? Because I know at the end of the day's battle rap, they're supposed to be able to say what they want to say, unless it's like it's something crazy, like like the ad, like like certain certain things shouldn't be brought up, like certain like your family members, like see what I mean? Certain things it's just off top people notice. You don't do that, you know what I mean? Unless you're really trying to fight a son, that's crazy, that's different. But that's just rules. Like who don't know that? But the daughter thing, yes, I think that's yes, it may have messed up battle rap, but at the same time, it's petty and it's basura. It shouldn't even be here, like. My nigga, niggas is talking about shooting you in your face, talking about killing you, doing those type of crazy stuff to you, and you don't feel away. But you feel away when they speak on your daughter, who's not even present, who they don't really know. And who's to say this person really knows that you have a daughter? I mean, of course, everybody knows now because you keep saying it. But in reality, who, you know what I mean? Who would have knew that? Like, who would have thought that? He just rap. probably said you had a son or something. Like, who knows? Like, who knows? It's just rapping. Like, you're getting paid bands to do this. You're not just outside of somebody just saying this to you regularly like you're with your daughter like no they just, you're getting paid bears to sit there and style on them and do this and like take that heat and you could bring the heat back to him so what's the problem i don't understand this. this is a fight it's a fight with words that's all this is all that other stuff to the side man you know what i mean you gotta learn man you're supposed to be grown you one of the older dudes too at that and you you talking all this stupidity don't bring my daughter up man yes so i'm answering your question yes it is stupid you should take that out because it's going to get brought up regardless. It's going to get brought up regardless. How you condoning them talking about shooting your daughter, but they can't... I don't understand it. You don't make no sense. And at the end of the day, that rule right there, that little thing right there, it makes no sense. It has to go, man. You get paid to battle rap. You get paid to disrespect somebody, and they get paid to disrespect you. So what is the problem? Once you're off the stage, are they doing that? Now, if they're off the stage and they're doing all that, that's different. But you're on stage getting paid rapping. Once the rap is over, that's never brought up again, right? Now, if they bring it up again, you know what time it is. Simple and plain. Now, if I'm wrong, hit the comments, y'all. I'm tired of holding y'all up. You know what I mean? I've been speaking for a minute. I could make a whole long dream on this, but nah. We got this goods video dropping right now. So to the gang, you already know. Hit the comments and no lacking, Drew Har. And if they ain't moving right, then they getting left. Let me turn this down, because I got something I want to talk about. I got something I want to talk about.
That's what I want to talk about. That's pretty good. What's up, people? I want to make this quick. <clears throat> Real quick. Y'all can see me? Let me see. Make sure y'all can see me. All right, check it. So, I was on Twitter today. Twitter. Actually, Twitter. I was on Twitter. I haven't been on Twitter in a long time. And I saw somebody um put up. I guess they did a blog, and basically the blog was about, the dude was saying, I fucked up battle rap, right? Now, I agree with him, though, on the stuff he was saying, because this is how I feel, and I've been was going to do a blog to touch on this, because it's corny to me, it's wild corny. Now, all of a sudden, everybody in battle rap want to feel a way about Somebody saying something about their kids. Why? Now all of a sudden, nigga done disrespected your kid 15 million times. And now, this year, 2018, you want to start feeling the way. So let me let me say this. I think it's corny. Now that everybody is reacting over somebody saying something about their kid. Now I know y'all probably looking at me like, you saying that. And, and, and I'm somebody that, you know, reacts if somebody says something about my kid, right? But I'm I'm explaining to y'all my side and what and what the difference is. Since I came in battle rap, on camera battling, for 10, 11 years, right? I've been 10, 11 years. I've been the same way, though. I've been said, yo, listen, I don't want nobody talking about my daughter, yada, 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 yada. I've been said that from the very, very beginning. If you ask Beasley, ask Smackin' or whatever it was, I've been said that. I don't know if y'all remember, but at one time, I had a situation with Rich Dollars because he said something about my daughter. Not even, but it was just in his rap. I didn't even know Rich Dollars at the time. Rich Dollars probably didn't even know I had a kid. But I had an issue with him because of that, right? So... That's crazy. I was a nigga that just walked by looking like a chick. This, this, this shit got to stop out here. But anyway, so I had an issue with Rich Dollars because of that. Because he said, but he, he didn't even know. So this is dated back then. What I don't respect is that the way I feel about somebody saying something about my daughter is genuine. It's not like I'm just doing it now because it's the right thing. And I feel like that's what a lot of these rap niggas is doing. They doing it now because they feel like that's the right thing to do. Or basically, that's it. They just feel like that's the right thing to do. Or they... Oh, I should have been doing this now because now it looks like that's the problem. You're not doing it because it's genuine. You're doing it because you feel like it's the right thing to do. With me, from when it started, you know what I'm saying? From from when it started, from when Battle Rap started on camera, I've been the same way up until now. That always went on my contract. From when the contract started, from when it wasn't no contracts and it was just word of mouth. I've been the same way. It wasn't no, no difference with me. It's, it's the same thing. I see dudes now, all of a sudden, if you say something about their kid or something like that, they bugging the fuck out. I think that's whack. And it, it makes me mad. Like, it, it's getting me tight. It's like, damn, I can't even be that way now because now 50 other niggas want to do it. And when 50 other niggas want to do something, that just make me don't want to do it no more because now there's too much people following that same wave. You know what I'm saying? Even though I'm the one that created that, but still, it's like, if you ain't feeling no way about somebody saying something about your kid before, don't feel a, why you feeling the way now? You know what I'm saying? That makes no sense. Now, I'm going to show y'all the difference on, on me. To all battle rappers, whoever I go against, whoever I battle, I don't give a hell if you say something about my daughter. I just... I. What I care about is the disrespectful shit like your daughter could suck my or I'll f your daughter. And that's the type of stuff I care about. Like the, the real, real, like disrespectful stuff. Anything else I don't care about. You could say, nigga, I, 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 I kidnap your daughter. Make a, you know what I'm saying? Make a ransom. You know what I'm saying? Make you pay ransom or, you know what I'm saying? Clap you and clap your daughter too then. I don't care about that. That's rap. I know you're not going to... Like, that's 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 rap. All of your causes, these niggas got a whole bunch of imaginary guns, and they're going to clap everything. So that's not stuff I care about. I don't care about them things at all. 
What I care about is just the disrespectful part. You know what I'm saying? Just, just the disrespectful. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Make your daughter suck my d and lick my balls. That little dog. That's just too much. So it's not. That's just it right there. Anything else I don't care about. And I, I want, I want rappers to notice. I don't. You can say, what you can say something about. It, I don't care and rap, but just not, not nothing that disrespectful. I feel like that's crazy. That's crazy to me to tell somebody you want to make their daughter suck it. Like shit like that is just crazy to me. So that's the type of stuff I feel away about. But if you throw my daughter in a bar and all, nah, I'm not gonna react over that, man. Like if, if we rapping, hell no. I'm going to react if you're trying to blatantly disrespect my daughter in front of me like I'm not going to do nothing to you. That's what I'm going to react over. Not over you saying a bar with my kid naming it. So, I don't know what's up with these dudes running around here now all of a sudden. All of a sudden now, <laughs> everybody, everybody got a, a problem. You see some of my daughter ready to fight, nigga. It's like, come on, B. It's like, nah, y'all wasn't doing this before. Now, all of a sudden, y'all niggas want to go to the extreme for y'all kids. Before it was battle rap. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't nothing. You ain't care. I've been the same way since I came in the gate. So this is just the way I am. It's not genuine from y'all niggas. It, it ain't genuine. Y'all doing it because y'all think this is what y'all supposed to do. You feel what I'm saying? But what y'all feel about it, man? What y'all feel about what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? I, I, I really want to know what y'all feel about what I'm saying. Do y'all feel like I'm right? Do y'all feel like um, I'm wrong? Do y'all feel like I'm contradicting myself? Because I don't I don't feel like I'm contradicting myself at all. Because I, I explained the the difference in, in what I'm saying. But I, how y'all feel about what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let's see. There's a certain level of respect. Certain lines shouldn't be crossed. Just my opinion. I feel the same way. All right. You think it's from Tay Rock versus Pat Stay? Nah, it's not. But before the Tay Rock and Pat Stay, whatever that situation was, a dude, I just saw something with a dude snuffed a dude on, um, a dude snuffed a dude on, um, on another battle league. A dude snuffed a dude. So it ain't, it, it ain't just, it ain't from that. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't from that. The other shit too is like, Niggas be out here talking some stupid shit, B. I tell you, man. This is some of my phone looking like something. I don't know why I look like this. Let's see. Let's see. Is, is it better? It's dark. That's why my phone look like this. It's dark. And you saying I'm getting all this money. I ain't saying I'm getting nothing, man. I'm broke, baby. I'm broke, baby. Somebody fought. Nah, so somebody fought during a battle and snuffed the nigga because he said something about his kid. Ha <laughs> ha nigga says that cricket shit. That's y'all niggas running around here with cricket mobiles and virgin mobiles. Get out of here. This bum ass T-Mobile, you might be right. Shit. Deshaun, I feel you. Feel the same way. Niggas, I got an iPhone 4. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. So, Vado and that bread. Vado good, man. Me and Vado, me, me and Vado, Vado taking care of. We good. We he, he took care of. We good. Yeah, this bum ass T Mobile. See, so a lot of niggas saying throw off limits, period. But I can't say that. I feel like if, if somebody throw it in a ball in a, in, a, in a crafty way, like, that's like me getting mad at Rock for saying, you know, but I will stick in your daughter box, graham crackers or whatever. Like, that's that's dope. Be like, get creative with it. I feel like when you try to disrespect somebody, you you doing it like, like trying to basically say they 
Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't gonna do nothing. You know what I'm saying? When nigga in your face disrespect, like, suck my, and do all that in your face, and that, 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 and that, that, that. I feel like he's trying to make you, you know, do something. If a nigga say something about your kid blatantly, he's trying, he's trying, he's trying to belittle you. You know what I'm saying? But I, I get his battle rap, though. That's one thing. I get his battle rap. But y'all fans run with that it's battle rap phrase too much. Because y'all not up here doing this. You get what I'm saying? Y'all ain't up here doing this. And if you could go to work, and that's another thing when I watched Son of the Blossom, he said it's a job. He said it's work. It's a job. So if, if you will go to work and let somebody at your job disrespect you, then that has nothing to do with me. I'm not going to let nobody disrespect me nowhere. At work, outside, at the gym. Um... I don't, I don't care. Where is that? I'm not going to let nobody disrespect me. So if you will go to work and let your boss just blatantly, let's say your boss, let your boss blatantly, and then, and I don't say boss because these are co-workers. So let's say you'll go to work and let one of your co-workers blatantly disrespect you. You'll let, you'll go to work and let your co-worker be like, hey, hey, John, uh, suck my And you don't, and, and you feel like you shouldn't do nothing because you at work or that's your co-worker, then I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. You know what I'm saying? How do you feel about niggas for getting their wins? Uh, what I feel about, I don't, I don't respect it. A dude for getting his joint is like, we have, <clears throat> for your, for your stature, or for your um, brand, you should know when not to take a battle and when to take one. If you got two weeks to prepare for battle and they call you to take it, you shouldn't take it. Don't think about the money. I understand, like, you know, everybody ain't getting money maybe outside of battle rap or and, and battle rap might be the only way they, they make their money. And there's nothing wrong with that. But you have to understand, if you kill your brand, that money stops. That money stops. So sometimes it's with anything you're trying to do in life. Sometimes you might have to starve to eat good you get what i'm saying so people got to understand that if, if somebody if they call you for a battle and you got a a week to prep or two weeks or a month and you can't do it and you know you can't you're just taking it for the money you're killing your brand now what you're doing is once you kill your brand that money stops and it slows down and now you're not getting and now the thing that's feeding you you're not even you you're not even uh you know what I'm saying um what's the word I'm looking for uh you're not getting nothing from it no more basically because you killed your brand you get what I'm saying so who just blowing me all these kisses and all that I see you. Who just saying what's your point though? Now, you must have just came on here, stupid. Get off my live. Now, you know what's so crazy? When somebody come on your live to watch you talk, just to hate, it's like, yo, where's your life at? What are you doing, man? Where your life at? You probably sit in a studio apartment with 15 people in it. Get out of here. Let's talk about, uh, one of who. Who I want to battle, I haven't yet. Ain't really nobody. Ain't really nobody uh, I want to battle right right now. Like, ain't nobody I want to battle right right now. Maybe me and Surf, but I'm not I'm not pressing nobody to battle. Like, me and Surf was been supposed to battle and never went down. It wasn't because of me. We're going to leave it at that. Nah, I wouldn't battle Reed. You got 30,000, you'll kill me? Cool. So, you know, if you got 30000 to battle me, you should take that 30000 and go put it into your life. Go put it into a business. Go do something with it. You don't need to, you don't, you don't need to put 30000 up against the, you know, to battle me. That's the old shit. That's, that's real. To I thought one... Oh, John's on a hollow. Yo, you know what? I got to do a recap blog on, on, on that whole joint, too. I'm going to do a recap blog. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save it for that. We're going to save it for that. You know what I'm saying? But I just wanted to get on here and talk, talk to y'all about that. So let me get out of here.